As we showed in our Who's In World Cup video, France have one of the most expensive squads of all time. Whereas those players have great potential, here's a list of the players who have already proven how great they are. Here's our top 10 French players of all time. At number 10, we have Alain Jures. Jures was part of the French Magic Square with Platini, Fernandez, and Tigana. He won the Euro 1984, the first major trophy for France. He was only five foot four tall and became one of the most pioneering and successful small size midfielders. As a player, he was quick, intelligent, on and off the ball and able to do everything on the field. He was the French footballer of the year in 1982, 1983 and 1987. He made 47 appearances and scored six goals for France. At number nine, we have Marcel Desailly. After Desailly left Nantes and Marseille, Desailly had five amazing seasons at AC Milan, where he became one of the best defenders on the planet. He was nicknamed The Rock. He will be remembered as a tackling master and a very strong player, impossible to dribble against and even harder to beat in the air. At club level, Desailly won the Champions League twice, and for France, he won the World Cup and the Euros. He played 116 times and scored six goals for France, and he will go down as one of the best French defenders of as <laughs> he will go down as one of the best French defenders of all time. When Trezeguet arrived at Monaco, he left Thierry Henry speechless as he watched him train for the first time. Why? Because Trezeguet was dynamite with his left and right foot and excellent in the air. He was equally impressive throughout his career with Juventus and France. The biggest blemish against Trezeguet is his missed penalty against Italy in the 2006 World Cup final. However, as a man, he was polite, discreet and humble. I personally met him and interviewed him. But as a player, he was confident, quick, determined and lethal in front of goal. Always delighted to score a goal whatever way he could, whether it was with his right foot, knee, ankle, shoulder, whatever way he could get it, he'd take it. Trezeguet was a true goal scorer who will be best known for securing France's victory against Italy in the Euro 2000 with a golden goal. Trezeguet won the World Cup and the Euros. He played 71 games and scored 34 goals for France. Lilian Thuram is truly a world-class defender, which is why he's the most capped French player ever. However, he's only scored two goals for France, but those two goals were against Croatia in the 1998 World Cup semi-final, when France were 1-0 down. So two very important goals. Thuram played as a right-back, then a centre-back. As a player, he was very fast, strong and agile on the ball. He was considered one of the best defenders of his era and won multiple trophies, including Serie A titles with Juventus. He won the World Cup and your rooms. <laughs> yeah. He played 142 times for France and scored two goals. Jean-Pierre Papin, in 1991, Papin was considered the best player in the world, proving my selection as the Ballon d'Or winner of that year. Between the 80s and the early 90s, he was the standout French player. He spent six years in Marseille, where he scored over 185 goals in 311 games. As a player, he was best known for his goal scoring, striking ability, and volleys, which he's nicknamed the Papinade, in his honor. He was born a leader. He helped carry France through a transitional stage for French football and on a club level he won the Serie A and the Champions League with AC Milan. But he didn't win anything with France, despite him coming third at the World Cup in 1986. He played 54 games and scored 30 goals for France. Didier Deschamps was a natural leader and a true captain. He was never the best player in his teens, but he had the biggest heart and the strongest desire to win. He was the kind of player you hated playing against. He would do anything to win, and the player that other players looked to whenever their spirit was low and their confidence needed to be raised. He won the World Cup and Euros whilst making 103 appearances and scoring four goals for France. No doubt he hopes to manage France to a glory at the World Cup, if only he had some of those young players with his spirit in his team. Thierry Henry. Arsenal's record goal scorer, front man of the Invincibles, World Cup winner, Champions League winner and general football legend. Henri controlled games with his speed, technical brilliance and imagination on the ball. Somehow he was beaten to the Ballon d'Or by Pavel Nedved. Which player will the world football remember more? You let me know in the comments. Despite that, Henri won the World Cup, the Euros, whilst playing 123 times for France and scoring 51 goals. However, some fans will remember him for his infamous hand ball against Ireland in the World Cup qualifiers. 
Raymond Coffey is not a household name for casual football fans. However, he was the top French player after World War II. Coppa came from a Polish family that arrived in France in 1919. As a young boy, like many people living in northern France, Coppa worked in the coal mines. However, he tragically lost a finger during an accident that nearly killed him. However, he did not let this accident stop him. He went on for trials for the national team, where he came second. This was because he was a skillful player that had brilliance on the ball. Coppa won the Europa Cup three times in a row with Real Madrid and came third at the World Cup with France. He played 45 games and scored 18 goals in total. For young French football fans, Zidane is probably considered the best player of all time. And they probably have a good argument, considering that Zidane won France their first World Cup and scored two goals in the final. In the same year, Zidane won the Ballon d'Or, and as a player, he was phenomenal when it came to ball control. He is known for his stepovers and unparalleled dribbling ability. For many, he is the perfect number 10. However, Zidane had a chance to be the undisputed best French player of all time, but he let Italy's Maserazzi troll him during the 2006 World Cup final and get the better of him, which resulted in Zidane's infamous headbutt that led to him being sent off before France lost to Italy on penalties. Despite that, Zidane is still considered a hero and a legend in France and world football in general. Zidane won the World Cup and Euros, played in 108 games and scored 31 goals for France. Fun fact, Zidane has won the Champions League more times as a manager than he did as a player. Before we get to number one, we have to give you some honourable mentions which go out to Patrick Vieira, Just Fontaine, Eric Cantona and Laurent Blanc, to name but a few. To stay up to date with all of the French national team news and football in general, make sure you download the OneFootball app and click subscribe. Our number one is Michel Platini. Of course, he's considered one of the best players of all time. And much like Zidane, he was a complete footballer. His accolades are the dreams of most professionals. He's won the Ballon d'Or three times in a row. He scored 354 goals in 655 appearances. As a player, he was an artist that could play as a striker or a playmaker. He knew when to dribble or pass, and of course, he loved to shoot. Every touch was part of his master plan due to his amazing football IQ. He made everything seem easy and with class. Platini's finest performance for France came during the 1984 Euros as he guided France to their first international trophy. France scored 14 goals during the tournament, nine of which came from Platini. In total, Platini played 72 games and scored 41 goals for France, making him their best player ever. That's been our list. Let us know yours. Please comment your thoughts below and like and share. And of course, subscribe and check out the rest of our videos. I've been Anthony Allen. Thanks for watching. I'll see you soon. Peace.